that's it. I'm retiring all my scrubs. I'm hanging up my stethoscope. I'm done. Hey everybody, I'm Natasha with Nursing Our Travel Bug. So many nurses out there feel just like I do. Exhausted, drained, just plain burnt out. Nursing burnout is indeed real. And it is definitely more of an issue after dealing with the last year and a half with this pandemic. And let's face it, the bedside is hard. Hospitals are expecting nurses to wear more and more hats, take on more responsibility, more job duties. They're taking away all of our ancillary staff. And we have a lot on our shoulders. And that gets real tiring after a time. Now stack on all of the things we've had to deal with during this pandemic. Being short-staffed, taking care of so many more patients, using and reusing personal protective equipment, if you can even find it, and the list goes on and on. Let's face it, nurses are just plain tired. So, what can we do about it? Well, the first thing that you can do is use some of that PTO and take a break. Head out on vacation. Now, I'm not talking about stacking your six shifts for the two weeks back to back so you work six in a row so you have a long stretch of time off. No, no, no. I really mean take your time off. Use that PTO. It doesn't matter if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, or you work at McDonald's. Everybody needs a break from time to time. You need to see life outside of the hospital and you just need to take some time and recharge and not think about caring for others. And it's a harsh truth, but it is reality. You could also change your specialty. The beautiful thing about nursing is that you can do anything. You start out on med search, Head over to ICU, see what that's like. Tired of traditional bedside? Why not check out the OR? Tired of taking care of adults? Head on over to pediatrics. Sometimes all you need is a fresh perspective and a change of environment. And that can help change your perspective on your career. You could also get into travel nursing. Now because of the pandemic, and because so many nurses are burnt out and so many hospitals are short-staffed, travel nurses are getting paid pretty well right now. In fact, let's look at some of these jobs that I get emailed. Just look at those rates. And those are per week. So here you can see these jobs are over 3,000 a week. This one's over 4,000 a week. These lower paying jobs are even pretty darn good, 2,500 bucks a week. Now don't get me wrong, some of those values can be misleading. A lot of these contracts are for more than 36 hours a week. I'm talking four or five 12 hour shifts in a week. So there is a trade off there. Yes, you're making more money, but you're working more, and when you're tired and burnout, out, is that really a good choice for you? So don't be lured in by the dollar signs, but if you want to change a pace, you want a change of scenery, travel nursing could be right for you. Another option is just to leave bedside nursing. You could get a job in a clinic. They've got some pretty spectacular hours, Monday through Friday nine to five, no holidays and weekends, where do I sign? You could also look for a job that doesn't even have direct patient care, like working for an insurance company as a consultant. Or 
you could get a remote job and work from home. Of course, the last option that you could take to battle nurse burnout is just leaving nursing altogether. Man, I don't know about you guys, but that would be a really, really tough one for me to do. For one, nursing is my passion. It is what I was meant to do. And if I had to leave it all together, I don't know what I would do, honestly. Not only that, but nursing school was a special kind of hell. Now, I'm not going to sacrifice all of the blood, sweat, and tears that I put into nursing school just to up and leave. But that's me. So if I'm being honest here, folks, yes. I am experiencing nursing burnout myself. I've been in healthcare for 16 years, and nine of those years have been as a nurse. Now, for the last five years, I've worked as a travel nurse, and that's been extremely rewarding for me and my family. In fact, I take them on the road with me in our RV, and we've had some fantastic adventures. But the bedside is getting exhausting for me, and I feel like I need a change. So I was fortunate enough to find a remote work from home job doing triage for injured workers for a workman's comp company. Now it's only been like three weeks, but I gotta say I am loving this job. Uh, it's nice to work from home. I get to come down and see my family on my breaks. Yeah, I get to take breaks and that was plural. There are days in the hospital when you're lucky to get a lunch break, but I've been getting my two 15 minute breaks and a half an hour lunch break for my eight hour shift, and it's just been refreshing. Okay, so maybe you can't change specialties, maybe you don't want to change jobs just yet, and you don't want to leave nursing. What can you do to help with this nursing fatigue and this burnout? The key is self-care. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. Of course, there's the basics. Get enough sleep, eat right, drink plenty of water, and exercise. The basics. We all know that stuff, right? Well, you can pamper yourself too. Take a spa day. Get your hair done. Have a pedicure. Ooh, or my personal favorite, get a massage. Spa day not quite your thing? Well, heck, sometimes retail therapy is all one needs. Or you could even do something very simple and basic and get outside. Sometimes it's nice to just stop, feel the sun on your skin, and take a nice deep breath of fresh air. <sighs> It's simple, but it has a big impact. So to all of my fellow nurses out there, I hear you. I know you're tired. I know you're exhausted and you are just plain burnt out. But please take my advice. Do something different to help combat that burnout you're feeling. Not only is it good for you, but it's good for your patients too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video or if you learned a little something, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you know every time we release a new video or we go live. And don't forget to share it out. Share this with a nurse in your life. It could really help. Well, I'm Natasha with Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. For me, that's chocolate. A nice hot cup of coffee. Ooh, don't forget about that massage. And a pedicure. Ooh, and getting my hair done. Ooh, and shopping. Don't forget shopping. Ooh, and a nice long walk by the beach. Yeah, that sounds good. Take care.